In this video, I'm gonna make a C program that's gonna trim the leading white space from a string. So first we'll make our string. We'll say car s is equal to space space, new line, new line, tab, space space, this is the way. And we would say that this content over here is the leading white space. Because you have space characters, you have new lines, you have some you have a tab here, and this type of character does not actually show up as content. It shows up as white space. That's why we call it a white space character. And oftentimes in computing, we want to get rid of leading white space characters. Maybe this string comes from user input. And when the user enters the actual data that we want to look at, like this data here, they enter some extra spaces and some new lines or tabs. And we just want to get rid of that because it's not really useful information. This is the content we really want. So let's actually just print out the string first. We'll say printf before new line percent s new line. And we'll just output the string just so we can look at it to see what it looks like before. So we compile it, we run it, and we get this is the way here. And we get this new lines here, and we get a tab there. And we want to get rid of all that stuff, so we just get this is the way. So let's write a function to do that. We'll say void trim car star s. And this function is going to accept a string as an argument, and we'll define it down here. And the way it's going to work is that we're going to actually count all of the white space characters at the beginning of the string. So we're going to keep a count of all the white space characters at the beginning of the string before we encounter the first non white space character. And then we're going to shift up the remainder of the string by that number of characters. And then we'll have to put the null terminator at a new position in the string as well to end it a bit earlier. So we'll say here int count is equal to zero. And then we'll keep a count. We'll say while s at count is equal to space or s at count is equal to new line or s at count is equal to tab. If any one of those is true, that means that our string still has white space in front of it and we'll say count plus plus to increment the count. So we're basically using count here as a counter variable in our loop here and we're using it to actually step through each character in the string so we're just checking the first character and if that first character is a space a new line or a tab we increment count and then we're going to check the second character and we're going to see is that a space a new line or a tab and if it is we're going to keep incrementing the count eventually we're going to encounter a character that is not a space a new line or a tab and that's when we're done incrementing the count but now we know how many characters there are at the front of the string that are white space. And we know how far to shift up the string. So that'll be the next thing we do here. We're going to say here, if count doesn't equal zero. So if count doesn't equal zero, that means we have some shifting to do. And here's where we'll do the shifting. So we'll say that we're going to have an, another counter variable here, i. And we're going to say, well, s at i plus count doesn't equal the null terminator, we have more shifting to do. And at this point, this is where we can then shift up the string. So we're going to say here s at i is equal to s at i plus count. So what we're doing here is we're saying so long as we haven't reached the end of the string. So we're going to reach the end of the string when we reach the null terminator, which is the last character at the end of the string, it terminates the string. So, so long as we haven't reached the null terminator here, let's actually shift up the string. So take the string at the position of the first non white space character and set that to be the first new character in the string. And then the next time through the loop, we're going to want to increment I to actually get the next character and shift it up as well. So we're going to actually say I plus plus here as well. And then the next time through this loop here, what's going to happen is I is going to be incremented by one and we're going to be looking at the next character in the string and we're going to be setting it to the next non white space character, this character here and on and on. And then once this is done at that point, we should have shifted up the string. We do have one more thing to do though, because the null terminator that terminates the string, we need to shift that up by the number of white space characters as well. So that's why here we're going to say s at i is equal to the null terminator at that point to shift up that. So let's actually print out the string now after. 
we'll say printf after, and then we'll call the function. We'll say trim s. So we'll do a recompilation here and we run it. And now we get just this is the way. And we've successfully trimmed the leading white space characters from the string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.